Hey guys, Thomas Rene again, uh, Head of Voice and Speech at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Um, I'm here to talk more about the tongue, but specifically kind of a follow-up on my last video about the superior and inferior longitudinal muscles of the tongue. Um, last time we talked about them working bilaterally, meaning both sides of the tongue working at once. So when we're looking at that superior longitudinal, both right and left side of the tongue working, the entire tongue curls upwards, yes? And then the inferior longitudinal muscles, when they contract bilaterally, both sides, right and left, is going to curl the tongue down. Yeah. Today I wanted to just talk about how we can work them unilaterally. So if we're not just isol isolating the superior longitudinal muscle or the inferior longitudinal muscle, what happens if we use them both together? meaning we have a right side and left side of the tongue, right? What happens if we use the superior and the inferior longitudinal muscle just on the right side of the tongue? Yeah. Those striations of those muscles, just to review, coming down the length of the tongue on the superior, and the length of the tongue on the inferior, both contracting, getting shorter, pulling the tongue to the right side and stretching the left muscles. Yeah, so that one more time. And now letting that go and then contracting on the left side, both the superior and the inferior longitudinal muscles, pulls the tongue over to the left, curling that tongue to the left and stretching at the right side. Yeah. And so you may practice just doing those three actions, contracting to the right, releasing to the middle, contracting to the left, and releasing to the middle again. And let's just take it nice and slow, as always, just to get a kinesthetic awareness of these muscles, making sure that we're thinking head-neck relationship. Yeah, we're breathing through this entire thing, and that the jaw is relaxed, trying not to move the jaw as much as possible. Excellent. Excellent, I meant to say. Uh, and when you get a bit better at uh, collaborating with those muscles and understanding really how they work and they seem to be working well for you, maybe you want to add some counts or snaps or whatever, yeah, as we usually do, just like this. Maybe you want to add the middle end as well. Oh, that one's hard. I need a little bit more practice with that one. Yeah, um, but just keep working those uh, the lateral movements of the tongue as well, but still looking at superior and inferior longitudinal muscles. And I was just getting a little bit more complex because we're not just isolating one muscle at a time. We're starting to uh, push them all together. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time and keep practicing.